My, my take on Jared Kushner is that he's a fake character with a fake name, not a man, and not a Jew. How many people play Jared Kushner? How many people are related to Jared Kushner? Now, who are these people and what roles do they play and how many roles do they play? Okay, Ivanka, you need to look. You're looking at Jared Kushner's handler. Sorry, I can't zoom in right now. I suck, huh? Devil harm point. Those are not their kids. They're liars on the masses. Oh, you're looking real cute, aren't you? Okay, I'm getting nothing out of this. Former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie and White House Senior Advisor Jared Kushner have a long and contentious history. Marble Christie Adam's prosecuted apple. Kushner's father for tax evasion, witness tampering and illegal campaign contributions when Christie served as a federal attorney. Charles Kushner, a wealthy real estate developer, pleaded guilty to 18 charges in 2004. If a guy hires a prostitute to seduce his brother-in-law and videotapes it and then sends the videotape to his sister to attempt to All drama for the masses. You're dealing with drags. You cannot believe anything out of their mouth. Intimidate her from testifying before a grand jury. Bullshit. Do I really need drama. any more justification than that? Christie alleges that President Trump's son-in-law coordinated his removal from the transition team in an act of spite. What was described to me by Steve Bannon, who said, the Boring. kid is what he referred to. Jared. A 41-story size problem at 666 Fifth Avenue. Jared Kushner's company still holds half of the $1.2 billion mortgage and hasn't paid a cent, forcing the Kushners to look overseas for investors. A 1.2 for your number three, your 666, Mark of the Beast all day. These are Freemason elite, your regular sheep, Jewish puppet on the street who has no Freemason elite connection, does not carry negative blood. I am aware of no Jewish person that carries negative blood. But these people will go at any length to fool the regular people, including planting fake Jews in their community and in their families. Caleb Melby's recent story on the Bloomberg takes a deep dive into Kushner's struggles and with the property. Don't forget, joins us now. the people that showed up here in the late 1800s, early 1900s from the West, the, well, our East, Europe, were brainwashed, okay, programmed. Uh, I'm sorry. Now, Caleb, great stuff. Walk me through what's the new here. Right, so uh, we had known that Kushner, Kushner companies had looked for funds with Ambang in China. Uh, they had gone to Qatar. Um, this Does that make any sense? What they're saying is, is that Trump built, uh, got his loan from them. Okay, they're all together. Don't let them fool you. Don't let them divide regular people. They're liars. No one down below is related to them. Bullshit uh, on. Reveals that they also talked to uh, a developer in Saudi Arabia. They went to the Korean Sovereign Wealth oh, Fund. Did you uh, go talked there? Talked to some Israeli banks and insurers as well. Trying to find uh, one of two things. Either a way to refinance the mortgage on that tower. Or in most cases to buy into this very expensive, very grand redevelopment. No, I don't care how much they brush up the necks to make it look like... Geraldina here has a Adam's apple and Ivanka doesn't. Okay? They can do anything. You can be looking at a cartoon or CGI. It's not like we would know the difference. It's so freaking ridiculous zooming in on YouTube. 
it's much better doing a, uh, I need to start downloading this before I do them. And then I can stop it, right? What's the difference? Plan they have for the building. So what happened? Uh, nobody's committed any <laughs> funds yet, um, and uh, they're Mars. still looking. How much time do they have? Oh, are uh, they? The mortgage is due February 2019, and we got to talk February to the president. February 2019. Of the that sounds like a lot of three, that threes, threes and six. Plenty of six. time in real estate finance. Uh, You're uh, lying. To, to find someone go to deeper. do this deal with them, uh, but they've also been looking for a. Oh my God! What is up with Liberty Mutual? You gotta be kidding me! Lightning bolt. The commercials, you could do hours on the commercials. They never stop. I sound like a drag. Fuck them. Trump celebrated their Fuck Jacob Rothschild. Anniversary last fall. Why is it Andrea Trump? Bernstein writes that the marriage was, quote, the joy. Oh, was it? Was it the dream? Two drags? Wow. This is amazing. of two famous real Liars. estate dynasties, each braided into worlds of politics and media and celebrity. She details how those dynasties came to be in the new book, American oh. Oligarchs, The Kushners, mm -hmm. The Trumps, and The Marriage of Money and Power. Mm -hmm. And Andrea sure. joins me now. She is also co-host of the Trump Inc. podcast. Andrea, thank you so much now for they being do it. here. It's great to be here. So you begin Red and blue division. with a very glitzy event. All day. The wedding of Jared Kushner and Ivanka Trump at Bedminster, the president's golf club. Why are you Jersey. painted orange? How does their wedding, you think, paint this picture of what their future would eventually look like? So what's interesting about the wedding is it was sort of covered at the time as a society event. Here are these two real estate dynasties. They're joining Jared Kushner and Ivanka Trump. They're oh. beautiful. They're involved no, in New York civic not. society. No. So it got some attention. And then basically people they're forgot about it. And I went back and I looked at... Freemason elite. They're disgusting. And they're lying to you. They're, they're not just like... It's all set up. Okay, I don't know who handles them. We know they're Freemason elite. We know they're bad people. We know they live off of blood. And we're pretty aware, I can say, I think we can say, without a beyond a reasonable doubt, so do these people. How many puppets? There's not that many puppets. Bullshit. The wedding. I was like, here is the moment when these two families come together, but also it symbolizes what the book is about, which is how money and power are tied together. And you can see that all play out in the wedding. So, in fact, you that detail the is, rise of... This is a biblical ritual where they do this. Okay? That's all. Both the Kushner and Trump dynasties in the U.S., how does their history shape how each family... Uh, survives, first of all, and then ultimately thrives when it comes to both oh, right, here New York we go. and New Jersey real yeah, estate. Trump. Oh, yeah. Well, for the Trump family, his Donald Trump's grandfather and his father were in many ways like Donald Trump, hustling entrepreneurs. Hustling and you can entrepreneurs. see, and I went over and documented their business practices, oh. lots of similar things, like saying something is worth a lot of money when they want a bank loan and saying it's not worth much money are when they want to pay taxes. Those practices survive Sure looks until like you today. are. The Kushner family has a different trajectory. Jared Kushner's Good grandparents man. were Holocaust survivors. They had a oh, harrowing You had to mention the Holocaust, didn't you? Another biblical ritual, more fakery, and more bullshit. You got to close your eyes, don't you? Look at that. That doesn't look like a mask. Okay, it's one thing to give people the benefit of the doubt if, like, they've given you a reason to give them the benefit of the doubt. But this one who's lying through their teeth, who looks like they're wearing a mask, who's now going to sit here with their eyes closed talking about the holocaust, screw you and your fake story. Bernstein bullshit. I doubt it. It's a real tale of courage. But then they sort of fudge their family relationships to be able to be able to immigrate into the United States. Oh, really? And they came here with Yeah, nothing. I'm sure. Okay, let me get this straight. The people with all the money needed help to emigrate here, right? 
like my grandfather, right, with the stories with the one shoe and the snow, right, or the other side with the chicken in the backyard, right? I'm just saying it, in, the, in the city. I just, they're so full of shit. They did not have hard times. They're not related to any of you. They don't, they don't, they're not regular practicing dumb Jews who just cheerlead for the Freemasons, okay? And perform devil rituals. And that goes for all religions, okay? I don't think any religious people who are dumb sheep should die. But these assholes who have created the religions, who have been lying to the people systematically, and who hide their Freemason elite, negative elite bloodline, can go to hell. Really did build a real estate empire from what they had arrived with, which was $2 in their pockets. Oh, bullshit. You're lying. And and it's interesting because you also talk about Donald Trump's mother. And how can, there's no way they can go from one, from $2 to 1.2 billion. They're lying. What, did Kushner marry a billionaire, too, now? Well, uh, realize that she actually worked as a domestic at the Carnegie Mansion. Tell right. us a little bit about she that. She arrives in the United States oh, as a domestic worker, and she ends up working on the Upper East Side. She came from Scotland. And oh. it's an amazing story when you think oh, about it, because it? her yeah, tastes that were so sort of shaped by that era. Tall pillars, oh, big so grand bad. things, gold. A lot of things that we see in what Trump properties came from his mother's aesthetic, which came from her having had that experience as a young woman just immigrated to New York. Yeah, so, uh, early yeah, on, because old this, women... Well, 20 years Years into Skin the doesn't century, move when they talk. They just have blotches that Americans look like vast sway, not only over their elected um, officials wrinkles. and by <sighs> extension the courts, but also the election process itself. You also later say that it's not new that rich business okay, leaders I'm would try to one. monetize their processes until we're at a point where we are today, where the president, basically to get his attention, you go and you book a room or plan a event at his hotel. You pay him money directly, and then he pays attention to you. Oh. That is a very fragile state for our democracy. Stop so acting like this, you're you know, Since you legit. have studied these two families so extensively and how they operate, I wonder if there's anything specific you're going They're to be lying. watching for, or any moves that you might anticipate. Don't make it out like you're President not Trump a part of it. Office. You so are them. Right now you're just controlled opposition. Impeachment trial. Don't as act expected, like a victim. He is acquitted because what we see is that, and, you know, what I've sort of documented is over the decades, Decades, he keeps escaping consequences for his actions. Oh. And each time he escapes them, he does something more severe. So, for example, the day after Mueller mm-hmm. testified and everybody thought it was a dud, the day after okay. is when he calls I'm the missing. Ukrainian president and says, do us a favor, though. And the- this is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, the War and Peace Report. Democracy I mean- Now!, if you're not aware of it, it's a liberal newspaper and activist group that's been around for decades, fooling People that live really better lifestyles than us, but this is like a big gatekeeper. Like they think, these people actually think that they're different from mainstream. And democracy now is the same thing. Look at their symbol. Apollo, that's the drag with the torch. Okay, the sun ray, all Freemason, all day. What are we looking at here? Who is that? Pyramids in the background, purple and Enough. Goodman with Nermin Shea. As attorneys and activists oh. continue to fight Donald Trump's travel ban on refugees and nationals from seven Muslim majority countries, a new article takes a sweeping look at history to find what it portends. Perhaps oh. more fascinating is that the story involves the family of one of the senior most members of the Trump administration. In Read your Nobody script. Wanted to Take Us In, the story of Jared oh, Kushner's yeah. family and mine, Nation Magazine senior editor Lizzie Ratner looks at the journey of both her family and that of Donald Trump's son-in-law and senior advisor, Jared Kushner, the husband of Ivanka Trump. Both Ratner's and Kushner's grandparents came to the United States as Jewish immigrants from Poland as the German occupation was ramping up and U.S. borders were closing down. Jared Kushner's grandmother, Ray Kushner, was born February 27th, 1923 in Novogrodok, Poland, and lost most of her family during the Holocaust. In 1982... They're lying to you. Okay, 
And what are we looking at there? Does that look right to you? It doesn't look right to me at all. This person looks like a wig. It looks fake. They use young people, dress them up to be old. Ray Kushner Holocaust was interviewed survivors. as part of a project for the Kane University of New Jersey Holocaust Resource Center up with and the recalled back. attempts by her family to Bullshit. flee before the German occupation. Don't believe them. They don't use real victims. But we felt the anti-Semitism. We felt that it's coming something. But we couldn't help ourselves. The door was closed that time. It's yeah. not that real people don't deal with um, haters. You know, and people that um, believe in, uh, you know, dividing themselves from others, from religion or whatever, hating. Definitely there's people that hate Jews. But these people, first of all, again, as Mag would say, no one can tell anyone's Jewish unless they're actually putting themselves out to be Jewish. No one can tell you you're Jewish. Oh, it's from your mom. Oh, really? Was my mom born with religion in her body? Get way out of here. Okay, it doesn't even make any sense. So, no, I don't think this is his mo grandmother. Okay, we don't even know if it's a mom. We don't even know if it's masked up. We know Jared's a total faker. You know how hard it was to get a visa to Israel to go. Uh, young girls and boys used to sit in a kibbutz for three, four years. They stole babies. They migrated all these people to Israel and they stole Yemeni's babies. They're disgusting creatures, okay? You know, I don't blame regular people who don't know what's going on. And if they don't want to know what's going on, that is their choice and their life. But we're talking about the people here on TV who are pushing the fakery and that have brainwashed all our people down below. You can't protect Palestine. them. To America, very hard to send papers. You need to wait for two, three years till you get a visa. That for your two, three. Your family, your father actually was in the camps in 1935, 36. Six, yeah, he had a sister now, in the United States. A and dumb I, person's going to say I'm just making fun of someone old, okay? But that's not the case. Old people don't look like that. Their eyes aren't in a hole. Their face is not like plastic, okay, like where it doesn't move. Okay? They, these people wear masks. They have um, actual sensors in them that move the face for them. Wake your ass up. Yeah. And if we try Read your script. The heart, the time says, could be felt. But we couldn't do nothing. Later in 1941, beginning of 1941, Germany took over us. That's Ray Kushner, the dog grandmother of Jared Kushner. She was speaking in 1982. She died in 2004. Joining us now, the nation's Lizzie Ratner. There's another one that looks like they're wearing Nobody wanted to take us in the story of Jared Kushner's family and mine. Talk about why you wrote this, Lizzie. Um, I wrote this story because, for a bunch of reasons, um, with the election, I began thinking about immigration, and I knew Trump had warned, you know, immigrants were going to be targets, refugees were going to be targets. My family was enormously lucky. We got to the United oh, States read your at the end script. of a period of really This much one, you, you, how can you be sincere if you have to read a script about this? They're lying. And this one, she said, talk, talking about her family. From when? It's 2020, you dumbass. You're talking about 90 years ago. Who told you the story? Okay, most of the Jewish people in America got here in the late 1800s. They didn't show up here during the war. Only people like these fake sodomites who have all the money in the world show up with their stories and here listen to this one immigration from eastern europe it was but it was at the very tail end um, my grandfather arrived in 1920 um, he arrived from bialystok poland which was not a happy place to be at the time it was the end of world war one there were pogroms there was hunger and uh, 1920s read your script 
You know, like something like now. <clears throat> They're so full of shit, man. I mean by pogrom. Pogroms were sort of uh, attacks on Jewish people that took place throughout Eastern Europe um, throughout the 19th and early 20th century, mm -hmm. possibly before that. Mm -hmm. um, and so it came here in One thing we know for sure, that they took place on the newspaper and on the TV, and the people were scared shitless, and you had them do, do dumb shit like what? Not wear a mask, but what? Sew shit on their clothes, Right. Such fucking assholes. And it turned out to be an enormously fortuitous moment. He had <laughs> incredible timing because it was a moment not, of sort of, sort of rising it. xenophobia in the United States. Um, the United States was not happy about all the refugees coming from Eastern Europe, coming from Southern Europe. And, um, and so they oh. passed, the country passed a series of extreme anti-immigrant measures. And I've always thought, my God, my family got so lucky coming here six months before one of the most severe anti-immigrant measures of that period was passed. If they hadn't got here in 1920, they might not yeah, have gotten to the United six. States. And what happened to Jews who didn't get to the United States um, is that many, but not all, but many ended up dying in the Holocaust. Liar! So I was sort of thinking about all of this. Liar! Um, as the this is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman with Juan Gonzalez. Uh, of well, course, we Amy Good. Oh, the she, this bitch. The Trump administration. She's Trump's been around for Kushner. a long Donald Trump's time. Son. Um, yeah. Um, as the election happened, and I began to wonder, well... Jared Kushner uh, is... Oh, you're not going to show us some fake mannequins? This isn't the right time, is it? What are you wearing on your neck? Wow, democracy. Very powerful person in uh, the now Trump administration. I knew that his family, uh, they were Holocaust survivors, and I said, I bet there's an immigration story because many Jews um, who came to the United States... In the Holocaust for your 33, 36, and yes... Jewish names are coded. <coughs> it does not mean they're Freemason elites. It was 1920s. by design. Um, and then many sort of people who survived the Holocaust and didn't survive had stories of attempts to getting to this country. Brainwash. Um, and that's an and Adam's sort of apple, isn't it? Getting here because there were these immigration Bam! laws that really cut the borders off in 1920, 21. So is. I just did some very basic research. There it um, is. I did some Googling and I found this there remarkable is. interview with Ray Kushner, who happens to be Jared Kushner's grandmother. Get and it? in the interview, and we just saw a clip of it. And you know what? You weren't pretty anyway. We hear her talking about her family's make an attempts ugly to come to the United States in the 1930s. Um, as I said, really 1921, 24, these two are. anti immigrant measures Three, were passed. 3 6 again, and. After and that, Immigration from Eastern Europe Read your script. didn't completely stop, but it became a trickle. And so you have these numerous yeah, stories. Yeah, down of to the T, just Eastern like Europe the storm. Did the it turn left and right and down oh the God, road? Anti-Semitism rising around us. Yeah, um, all by design. And we to get out of here. And yet, when yeah, we got to get out of here. The borders were closed. So Ray Kushner yeah, was one of them. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, clip. yeah, I'm sure the Kushners were hanging out in the fucking ghetto. Bullshit. Bullshit. You weren't in no fucking ghetto, you fucking liar. Just get the fuck out of here. We felt anti-Semitism couldn't get here. Well, let's go back to Ray Kushner in her own words. Look Speaking at this ugly one. In 1982, one. she explained the difficulty her family faced. Don't move. We may see your Adam's apple. Countries. Or your face may fall off. Yes. We want to go all over. Do these sound like people that were in a ghetto? You think they locked rich people up in work camps? If there was even work camps? Obviously things weren't great or they wouldn't have left. And these people are liars. Nobody opened the door for us. Nobody wanted to take us in. Three and a half years we were waiting to get a visa. And these people, it's not like they showed up and we're like living in the ghetto in America or the projects, wherever the hell they were. Working like dogs. They were giving loans. Don't let them play victim on you. 
Three six again. My husband had a sister. He had cousins, very fine people. Ray Kushner went on to question the role of U.S. President Franklin Roosevelt. Oh. They never can understand this. That's Even the now, Alex Ter Crowley point. And isn't it interesting how they have a tower going on the um, uh, Statue of Liberty, Apollo? Good President Roosevelt. Greg. How come he kept the door so close to us for such a long time? How come a boat went for exodus for and the border? Look at her doing the devil horns on you. There she is. Oh, is that your great aunt? Is that your third cousin? Do you know how dumb you sound? I'm back to you to be killed. This question I'll never know. And nobody will give me the answer. And with this mind, they live a very hard life. That's Ray Kushner. That's uh, the what is the difference of... between that and Bin Laden, Hitler? You you need to wake up. They all do the same damn thing. Jared Kushner. Um, so, Lizzie, in your research, um, did you find anywhere um, Jared Kushner's mention of his own family's uh, story of coming to the U.S.? Yeah. Um, in August of this past year, there was a big furor, pardon the expression, um, oh, because Donald Trump um, tweeted out an image um, sort of calling Hillary Qu Clinton crooked and... Uh, there was sort of an image of a Jewish star in a pile of cash. And it was a moment when many people said, you know, the Trump campaign has been supported by anti-Semites. Um, it has been engaging with anti-Semites. Is Donald Trump anti-Semitic? First of all, they create the anti-Semitism. They did a shitty job brushing this up. Look at that. Look what they did. It's so obvious. They brushed this up. And you still can't hide the drags in all of them. You're looking at a fat woman, a handler, and someone who looks like Joe Olstein. Gross. And it was after that that Jared Kushner wrote an article in the knows. newspaper that he owns called The New York Observer um, saying... Donald Trump is not anti-Semitic. I know what anti-Semitism is because my grandparents suffered the worst of anti-Semitism. And it's so sad uh, because they, they have the religious people so scared. They just have to throw up a star or a banana or something. And next thing you know, they'll do anything you think the government says. Survivors of the Holocaust. Um, and so that was sort of a moment that he resurrected their story, but in order to justify the man um, who you know, arguably was deploying anti-Semitic motifs um, and who is now, of course, in the really White House, ugly um, furthering, furthering a regime of an anti-immigrant regime, which really does echo the anti-immigrant regime that was put in place um, in the 1920s that ultimately kept out Jews like the Kushners. And so what about the travel ban Bullshit. today with that Donald Trump just imposed a week ago the that led to a... Freemason elite are the ones who created the anti-Semitism in the first place. And this faker, Amy Goodman or Goodwin, whatever it is from Democracy Now! has been around... Forever. I'm not sure what it is, but Mag said they all wear masks. Every last one of them. Vault all thing. over the country. Yeah, well, I think history is really critical here. The present, you know, the present is echoing the past. We talked about, we just heard a segment about the 19th. Uh, frankly, Without zooming in, it's very difficult to, for me to point out exactly how to show you. But out of everything, there's no doubt, without a reasonable doubt, I don't trust a fucking word out of their mouth. So. 30s in Germany. But we have our own history here that foreshadows this moment. And our own history is a history filled with strains of xenophobia and hate. Which your history is all lies and you're spewing fear 
It's mental slavery that leads to physical slavery with people trapped in their homes. And real consequences for people. So I just want to talk for one second about sort of rhetorical parallels between the past and the present. When I was researching the 1920s and these 1920 anti-immigrant acts that had such gruesome consequences. You want to research it, bitch. You need to pause and zoom. And if my voice is too loud for you, all you need to do is turn the volume down. And I know it's fluctuating. I'm sorry. I'm doing the best I can. Are you? For people. I was struck by the parallels in language. So you had Jewish people referred to as physically deficient, abnormally twisted, un-American, filthy, a peril to this country, um, sort of a danger in all sorts of ways. Jews were conceived as both a threat to the economy, but also a threat to national. Who isn't? Okay, get over yourself. Everyone, they say every, they say that for every single religion, every single race, and every single one of you buy, right? Look at the get up in the back. <laughs> you know, Mag always says they put b- books in the background to make them look smart. These assholes put fake book background with the democracy now. If you think you're free, you're dumb. Security. The idea was that Jews who came from Eastern Europe, which was sort of a hotbed They're of They're Bolshevism- mocking you, Lizzie Ratner, you damn rat. Lizzo, you got a fat suit on, do you? You sicko. They're mocking us. We're the ones that no one lets in. Not them. They don't need to be cordial or respectful to anyone or anything. They don't deal with money, people. Money is nothing. Anyone can create their own money if they have people in the goods. When radicalism would come here, turn our country red from the inside out and destroy it. Bullshit. Those are devil horns and you're reading your script again. You have, you cannot believe the, it's, it's very frustrating because when you, search in life for truth and obviously it leads you back to the land even the people who have a higher very very high caliber of living are extremely brainwashed it's extremely annoying the programs that hit them things like it just it's never ending the way they've divided people so they can't get along. You know, they're constantly bickering and arguing and going off in the wrong direction and pointing the finger at other people. No one is ever going to be Mag. Mag is amazing. I'm not saying I am an amazing person, but I give credit where credit is due. We hear the same or really parallel rhetoric today being thrown against uh, Muslims, people from Muslims. Uh, Oh, isn't that interesting? How the hell can you say that? You just, first of all, the parallel today is you're sitting there today saying it's you. And then you throw the Muslims in the mix. The Muslims are not going to buy whatever you think you're throwing on the table. Okay? They're already in neck deep in bullshit. <clears throat> the Muslims have to be the most brainwashed idiots on the whole fucking planet. You gotta Countries be fucking who are being shitty. sort of described as a threat to our society. And, uh, as, fifth- as fucking dumb as Muslims are, they would never fall for the Jewish shit or the Christian shit. Okay, so, but like as far as cultures go, I take their food any day. Well, all actually, all the, I think. I think they have good food. A, the, a lot of the religions, that's how they get them, right? And this one never stops. They never stop at their Freemason signs and symbols. And if you if you hear me and you're like, oh, well, that's just another scapegoat. Oh, really? Uh, does your brain 
not allow you to memorize 20, no, I'm sorry, 10, 15 numbers and 10, 15 pictures because that's what we're talking about. 9, 11, 2, 3, 33, 3, 6, 9, Pythagorean numerology, Chaldean numerology, triple numerology, the eagle, the eye, the pyramid, the sun ray, the mocking tongue, the code of silence, the blindfold, every fucking hand sign they give you. That's just off the top of the head, the butterfly, and that pretty much covers majority of it. Okay, they worship Baphomet, and that was what? All in 30 seconds, or is that too much? Column Trojan horse. I mean, Donald Trump used the term Trojan horse. You could have heard that applied against Jews in the 1920s and the Excuse 1940s. Me. The only thing anyone thinks when you say Trojan horse is freaking condoms. Fucking idiot. Look what they're showing you. Uh, so? Why do they need to show you that? What are they trying to show you? That they needed to hang out in the snow? What? 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 I don't understand. And I think we can say, you know, horrible things happen to people. Horrible things were visited on, on immigrants and desperate. Do you know what they're showing you now? This is like a present picture of where they try to get money off of people in like where they show them in Russia. Does that look real to you? It looks like UFO sighting refugees who wanted to come here. Let's go back to Ray Kushner and this interview she did in the Kane University of New Jersey's Holocaust Research Center. Let's hope it's not going to happen again. But it can happen. If you don't watch who comes up, when I came to Washington, the Nazis are going to disaster. the country. I remember Mag pointing out that one way you can tell they're faking is that old people don't move like that. Their neck, their back, they're old as dirt. That's in front of their White House. And they can come uh, free. We've got traps. And this scares us. What? This is very painful. What? That was Ray okay. Kushner, Jared Kushner's this grandmother. One, Jared Kushner, one of the top aides to Donald kidding. Trump in the White House and his son-in-law. Today, um, you quote uh, the head of the Hebrew Immigrant Aid Society, Hayas, mm -hmm. who says, the way we describe ourselves is that we used to resettle refugees because they were Jewish. Now we settle refugees because we are Jewish. Yeah, it was a deeply moving... Uh, uh, what is that? Are they converts? They were Jewish. We are Jewish. The convert thing. Wow. Anyone who's converting to religion, that's about as rare as people like me. Comment that Mark Hetfield of Hyas said to me, and I think it captures a sentiment in part of the Jewish community, and that should really be the sentiment of everybody in this country who was an immigrant and is now... Isn't that funny? She goes... It's a little part of it, but that should be for everyone. Oh, tell us how we should think. Tell us. Assimilated and is here, which is that, um, you know, there was a time think. when our ancestors were in yeah, desperate need, and um, and some people responded to that need, and many people around the world didn't. Ooh. And now we have an obligation as people who are Ooh, here now, responded. who benefited from all the privileges of this country. To keep no the one benefited from the privileges of this country, you liar. Why is it okay for them to read the script? He's right. Doors open for other desperate people. There's another amazing quote I just want to end with. Sure. Uh, Mark Hetfield also said, you know, for us to come here, for us, and he's referring to Jewish people at this moment, um, but for oh, Jews to say, no, we're here Jew. now, it's okay to close the doors on other people, is morally reprehensible. And Isn't I, it interesting they decide what is morally reprehensible? What about your fucking masks? It's respectful if you put one on. And now it's respectful for us to what? Protect the elite? Kushner is not a regular immigrant. They're lying to you. And that does not mean we should follow a religion because they do. This is retarded.
I don't think I could have ever said it better. Mm -hmm. In the conversation we played with um, an interview between uh, Jeff Sessions, who was being interviewed by Stephen Bannon, yeah. top aide to President oh, wow. Trump, referring to the old immigration laws. Yeah, I was just listening More to that. So nine, Jeff it. Sessions, you know, in this interview you played yesterday, is celebrating the 1924 Act, the Reed-Johnson Act, or the Johnson-Reed yeah, Act, Egypt. which closed the border for Jews. And I need to also emphasize for millions of people from other parts of the world, too. It wasn't just Jews, but we know that Almost everyone that I run into believes in the Holocaust, okay? Sometimes I can tell people that won't, but a lot do. The sort of, Especially uh, ones who I would catastrophic hope. For Jews, when, but it's terrifying to me so. that Jeff Sessions is celebrating this act that we now know and regard, you know, is universally regarded as More xenophobic More controlled, and divide, and conquer. And That's 